Good morning. Can you believe we're having a baby? <laughs> I'm so excited for this and I don't know what this video is supposed to be. The idea is like a spend the first trimester with me. Mostly because I'm home alone, because Josh left yesterday to go to a work trip. Hello, Mix. Did you want to come say hi to the people? The second part is because I've literally been lying to everyone and I feel so bad because people keep asking me how's my work schedule for the end of the month because they want to meet up and things. And I mean, I'm not working, I'm not flying. So if you are one of the people I've lied to... I'm so sorry. Miku really wants to be on camera and really wants the attention. Everyone likes the Miku. So I decided to make a video of this first trimester. I'll just keep it as a little memory helper for future as well of what happened, what I've been doing, how I've been feeling just those general things so it's not like I'm gonna vlog every single day for the next few weeks because that would be insane I'm starting this vlog today because today I am seven weeks pregnant isn't it exciting my weeks of roll on a Sunday on Sundays there is a few things that I do particularly for the new week I have one app that I use. Well, I have multiples. The one that I use to track the weeks and the days is called Pregnancy Plus. So the first thing that I like to do is I go on this app and there is a thing where I can see the shape and size, obviously approximate, of the baby. It measures 1.6 centimeters and it weighs one gram. Insane. But for that, I prefer using another app which is called Premum. And that's the app that I was actually using for months to track my ovulation. And that's the app that helped me conceive. And there's a bunch of information in here. So every Sunday, this is what I do. I wake up and I come to the app. I usually highlight some bits and I send to Josh the things that I find really interesting. So I'm going to do that. I always do that in bed before I get up. There was nothing extremely interesting on the app today. It was basically just saying that the symptoms from last week might or will probably continue this week or if they haven't started, they might start. So far I haven't really had any symptoms, but we'll talk about that a bit later. Another thing that I do every single Sunday morning is, after I use the toilet and make sure I'm all empty, is I weight myself and I keep track of the weekly weights. At this point in the pregnancy, you're not supposed to be gaining crazy amounts of weight. I've been gaining a little bit of weight every week, but that's just because I'm not being very careful with what I'm eating, to be honest. But in terms of pregnancy weight, it hasn't obviously started yet, but I still find it interesting keeping the track straight away from early on. And one thing that I actually want to start doing every week, and this week is going to be the first one that I'm doing, is taking those bump weekly pictures. So I want to take one every Sunday and just see the progression. Obviously, I'm seven weeks now. Do I have a bump? Yes. Is it a baby bump? Not as much as it is a food bump, to be honest. <laughs> This might be the winner. This is really exciting. Okay. How have I been feeling so far in these seven weeks? I haven't been too bad at all. So fingers crossed it's going to remain like this. I've had that in total, I think, three days where I was really, really tired. Fatigue is one of the things that haven't happened to you during the first trimester because of all the things that your uterus is obviously building. So biologically, your body as an organism is putting so much effort into that that sometimes you don't have energy for anything else. It's really weird. And then I've had a few days where I feel nauseous, but I haven't actually vomited, at least not yet. Every time I'm nauseous and I go like to burp, I get really scared because I don't know if I'm gonna burp or if I'm gonna throw up. It hasn't happened yet, but I had had a few days where I feel nauseous. Usually not the whole day, but throughout the same day. So like I'll feel nauseous in the morning, then it goes away, then I feel again in the afternoon, then it goes away, then again in the evening, then it goes away, then it comes back late at night, then it goes away. But then the following day, I'm fine. I haven't really had like two days in a row or anything. It hasn't stopped me from eating. I haven't really had any situations where I'm so nauseous that I can't eat. Sometimes I cannot like eat in that precise moment. Like I'll take a bite and I'm like, well, but an hour later I'm fine and I can eat. So it hasn't really impacted my life. So, so far it's been great. 
and I hope that it continues like this. Even though it does freak me out, I'm not gonna lie, when I don't feel anything at all because I get really scared thinking, oh my god, is there something wrong? I feel like if you feel something, at least you have the confirmation that there is something happening inside your body. But if you don't, then you don't have that confirmation and you have no way of knowing. Last week we did our first ultrasound. It was done intravaginally because it was so early on during the pregnancy. It's not included in the NHS, so we had to go to a private clinic and we paid to get it done. But we just wanted some reassurance. There was the thing, it was tiny, tiny, tiny. It was the size of a rice grain, but we did see the heartbeat and that was excellent. We didn't get to hear it. I did ask about it. She said it was too early and that they don't put the whatever name of the instrument is on so early on because she said it's not really safe but we did see on the screen so like the whole thing was tiny 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 but we did see it was like flushing obviously it's black and white and we could see the white going and whatever and she said <laughs> she said that was a heartbeat so yeah i don't know it was really excited i was expecting to be a bit emotional i didn't get emotional even though at some point she was talking about something and i could feel my eyes burning with tears and I feel like it was mostly because I looked at Josh and Josh was looking at the TV and he looked really happy and I don't know, emotions, hormones. This is the pregnancy planner that I bought. It's just a notebook, it's not an actual pregnancy planner, but it's squared and the pages have excellent quality. I wanted a pregnancy planner slash journal and I was looking online for them and they're all, the ones that looked good, they were all really expensive. So then I ended up buying a digital download from Etsy, which was only five pounds and you printed it. And I was using that to update and I was just gonna get a binder to put the papers in. However, there's not really like space for personalization in terms of photos on or anything. So that's why I ended up getting the notebook. I spent hours researching to get a good quality one. Yesterday at night, I was planning what I wanna put in the notebook, which sequence, and I started penciling some things. I haven't finished the penciling in yet. So I think I might do that now while I watch some TV. the 29th of January and it's also eight weeks today. Yay! Two months! So I already did the things that I do in the morning. I read through the apps to see the information for this week. So this week, very exciting things are happening. The genital organs being formed today. So even though obviously the, the sex of the baby is defined straight away at conception, this is the week where they, they're going to become ovaries or testicles and that's when they start being formed. However, it's not possible to see it on a scan until a few weeks from now. Still a long way to go for that. We also have the spine that is becoming more straight and sturdy and the bones in the arms and legs are getting stronger as well. Oh, and this week the baby starts moving as well. So obviously I'm not gonna be able to feel that for a bunch of weeks. I don't know when you're supposed to start feeling the baby move, but this week it actually starts moving in the amniotic fluid, which is very interesting. This is when the hormones kind of peak, so the symptoms might get quite severe this week. My biggest symptom right now is to do with the way that I eat. So I get really hungry really quickly. I go from fine to starving in three seconds, but then I'm really hungry and I go to eat, and after like three bites, I'm completely full. So I try eating a little bit more, but then I start feeling really uncomfortable, feeling like I'm really forcing food down my stomach. So I stop that. But then like an hour later, I'm super hungry again. I've weighed myself this morning and I keep gaining weight and my belly feels really big as well. But honestly, I think I'm just fat. I think I mentioned that my sleeping schedule was all upside down. It's like I'm living in Australian time zones or something. I've been falling asleep at like 5, 6 a.m. and waking up at 3, 4 p.m. Today I was quite happy because I naturally woke up somehow at like quarter to 1 p.m. or something. I then stayed in bed for like another hour or so and then I got up and I did the weekly photos and all those things that I already told you about. And then at like half 9 p.m. after dinner I was in the sofa and I was getting so sleepy and I was falling asleep and I forced myself to not fall asleep and to wait another like 45 minutes or something just so I could come to bed and use that sleepiness to fall asleep and have an early night. I came to bed, had a nice shower, came to bed, have the dogs here with me and it's half one in the morning and I'm just wide awake and I'm getting hungry because I have this thing where I go from fine to starving super quickly and it's really frustrating because the kitchen is super far away, I don't want to go all the way down. 
Good morning. I'm on my way for my first appointment. I'm not entirely percent sure where it is. I know it's at the hospital, but I've never been to the hospital. And then she told me it's at the rear of the hospital, which makes me think that I'm gonna get there and the sat nav is just gonna direct me to the main entrance and I'm gonna be in the wrong place. And this is the kind of thing that stresses me out, but it's fine. My appointment is not until half an hour from now and it's only a 10 minute drive. So I'm giving myself plenty of time to find the correct place. The appointment is done. I'll tell you more about it when I get home. It was okay. We didn't do blood tests because their systems were down. I'm gonna have to come back in like four days to do it then. We booked a bunch of other appointments and she explained to me other appointments that I'm gonna have, but those I don't get to book. I just get a letter in the post with an allocated date. So that's fun. But now I came to the supermarket because I'm absolutely starving and I need more milk and another few bits and bobs. So I'm gonna go in, grab those things and then go home. Every time I try to get my shuttles back in order and like I have early appointments which force me to wake up early and then I force myself to stay awake the rest of the day and not have a nap so that I can go to bed early and hopefully reboot the whole system, it just fails. I don't know what's happening but yesterday I fell asleep again past 6am. Today I woke up, I think it was half three when I woke up, but then I didn't leave the bed until like quarter to 5 p.m. I don't know why I'm being like this, I would like to blame it on pregnancy hormones, so I'm gonna do that, just to feel better with myself. The other day I bought something very interesting because I was looking online on <laughs> things you can do when you are home, pregnant and bored. And of course I came across the obvious answer, which was when people make things for the baby. So I started looking into it, and originally I was going to crochet a blanket or something, but then I was looking on YouTube for tutorials and it seemed very, very complicated. The reason why I wanted to do that was because my grandma used to do a lot of crochet. When I was a kid, she started to teach me how to crochet and how to do like the first line. So when I watched the tutorial, that all seemed very familiar. Obviously I couldn't recreate without the tutorial, but it did seem familiar. But then as the blanket progressed, it's not that it seemed very, very difficult, but it seemed a little bit more a step above from an absolute beginner that has no hand skills. Anyway, so then I lo looked into knitting instead and it seemed simpler. So I decided I'm going to try and knit a blanket. <laughs> Me, who has no skills at all. Hello, it's nine weeks today and I got distracted on the sofa researching a couple of things on my phone and now it's completely dark outside and I haven't taken the picture yet. So I've just set up the phone here in front of the white wall and I'm gonna try and do it now, but I don't know if it's gonna work or if I'll have to do it tomorrow instead with natural light. It's 7 a.m. and I haven't been able to sleep yet. Yesterday I spent the whole day being nauseous, like the whole day. Honestly, I think it's the worst I've had it so far. Usually when I eat or drink something, it helps it make it go away, but it didn't. So I spent the whole day in bed because I was just out of me. And now I'm just gonna eat some leftover pizza. I'm still nauseous, but I'm also hungry and I'm cold because I didn't put my robe on. I'm gonna eat this and go back upstairs to bed. We are double digits now, 10 weeks, only two more weeks to the end of the dreadful first trimester. This week is quite an exciting one because I found out this reading the apps, but apparently the 10th week is when all the vital organs are fully formed, which means the baby is no longer an embryo, but a fetus. <laughs> and it stays with that name, fetus, until they are born, and once they are born, they become a baby. Obviously, no one is gonna call the little thing in their belly a fetus, because that's just horrible, but that's when the name changes, and that's very exciting. All the vital organs are fully formed, that means the heart, the brain, the intestines, and the liver, I think was the list that was uh, said on the app. The fingers and the toes are no longer webbed, so they used to have, like, a web between them, and they were a bit like fins, but this week they separate and the baby, well the fetus, is also able to start moving the arms at the shoulder and the legs at the hip, I think it's what it said. Because all these movements are new and exciting, the baby is moving a lot in the uterus, jumping up and down and stretching and folding the arms and legs to explore the new movements. Of course it's so small that no woman is gonna feel it. It's also the size of a strawberry, it weighs around 6 grams. <laughs> Two more weeks, guys, we can do it. I just took 
the weekly picture. I also weighed myself this morning and last week I had lost a little bit of weight and now this week I'm at the same weight that I was the week before. In total I think I'm at 1.8 kilograms that I've put on since finding out that I'm pregnant. My mood in general through this pregnancy has been quite nice. I feel like I've been in a good mood every now and then I get a bit, not down, but weird. But I think that's mostly because I am home alone and it gets quite boring and lonely at times. But in general, when I'm able to ignore that part, the part that I feel lonely and bored, I feel like I'm in a good mood. I'm excited, obviously I'm nervous. I've had some friends over last weekend and this following weekend I'm gonna have some more friends over as well. And we've been telling people one new person every weekend, which is when the weeks count for us. Also makes it exciting because even though we don't want to fully announce it to the world until we have our first scan and make sure everything's okay, we also want to acknowledge the presence of this little baby and hopefully everything is fine. So slowly we are telling our closest friends one by one. We are at 12 weeks and I think the biggest update for this week is that I've been feeling what it's called... It has a name. My belly hurts, but like a muscular pain, like if I did a bunch of sit-ups the previous day and then on the next day you're sore. It's better now for the last two, three days, but I had a couple of days where it felt like I did 100 plus sit-ups. And it's basically because the uterus is expanding, but also the organs inside are kind of moving around to make space for it. It stretches the lower belly muscles and sometimes even affects the groin, which in my case it did. It just makes the muscles sore because things are moving on the inside. Another thing that I've been feeling again is the nausea. I still haven't been sick but every now and then I get nauseous and I've started to notice that food doesn't help as much as it did before. Before I would eat something and immediately the nausea would go away. Now sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes I eat and it helped but only a little bit or I have to wait a little bit for the food to kick in. In general I've been a bit uncomfortable. It's been difficult to fall asleep at night again but I don't know if that's because I'm so tired that I end up falling asleep during the day which then leads me to not be able to sleep at night. I'm happy, I've been in a good mood, I'm feeling well and I'm grateful to the universe for not having any worst symptoms. The biggest thing this week is that I feel a little bit uncomfortable, but it's okay. And next week we get our first scan and I'm really hoping that they're gonna say everything is okay and we are out of the danger. It's almost the end of the first trimester. We have one week and a bit left to go. So fingers crossed. Tomorrow is the first day of the second trimester. I can't believe we're here. Time has moved so slowly, <laughs> so slowly. And I know that that's partially because i am just been at home and I have really nothing to do besides chilling, growing some organs, watching TV. A few weeks ago, we had our 12 week scan, which is one of the two that gets provided by the NHS. And oh my God, it's just unbelievable because there's only been six weeks between the two scans and the first one was an authentic blob. I'll try and put a picture here on the screen for you to see. But the second one, it had, the shape and like it looked like a tiny human and it's so weird it was only six and a half centimeters long which they said it's the correct size and everything was more measuring accordingly but it actually had the shape of a human being obviously i don't feel anything it's way too early for that and even my bump I'm always joking, is it a bump? Is it with the chicken nuggets? It's so early on, it's a mixture of putting on some weight with being swollen with maybe a bump, but not actually a bump, you know what I mean? Yeah, it had the shape of a human being. We saw it moving and like the arms and the legs at some point, the baby put the foot right in front of like where the thing was on my belly, the machine, and we could actually see the same of the foot. Sadly, they didn't capture the picture in time to get that. We saw the head, the brain, everything was measuring normally. We also got the triage done for all the trismies. There's three that they measure in the UK. It's optional, but we decided we wanted to get those things measured. Earlier today, I got the letter in the mail saying everything was normal and everything came with low chances of occurring. Fingers crossed, everything is good. And it's really exciting. Josh said he felt a bit emotional seeing the baby moving because he wasn't expecting it to move. I've had this conversation several times with him since and I don't know what he expected. Like, did he expect the thing to just be there standing still? Apparently, yes, that's what he expected. I don't know, it just, it made it very real for both of us. Seeing that while feeling the machine moving around on my belly, so like it just connects the two things, that, that thing on the screen that I'm looking at, it's actually inside my belly. It's crazy, it was very exciting. So the second trimester starts tomorrow, which means this is also the end 
of this video. The second trimester is supposedly very exciting, is when I get to feel the baby move for the first time, supposedly around 20 weeks. We are also going to find out the gender of the baby, if it's a boy, if it's a girl, also really excited for that. And we will eventually start preparing the nursery. And during the second trimester we're also gonna get married and we have our honeymoon. <laughs> I feel like it's all happening very fast, which is good because like I said, time moved really slow during the first trimester. So I hope that from now on things start picking up because the waiting, it's killing me. Oh, regarding the symptoms, I had a really blessed first trimester, as you know, I didn't really have any symptoms, I had some nauseas, and through the end of the first trimester, that's actually when, like, my nausea peaked, and I had some days where I was really, really nauseous. I haven't been sick a single time. I had a day where I was walking quite a lot, because we were out doing some things, and we basically spent the whole day walking, and oh my god, towards the end of the day, my body just gave up on me. I had a horrible back pain, like, lower back pain. My belly was hurting, I was shivering, it was like 15 degrees and I was shivering. My nails were purple, my lips were purple. I was not feeling well, I just needed to lay down and as soon as I did lay down under the covers, it went away. That was a bit scary. I don't know if it's totally related to pregnancy or to the fact that I also haven't been doing much besides being on the sofa. But yeah, that happened. I had like one headache here and there, but nothing special. I had some belly muscles pain at some point as well, I mentioned it to you. I feel like the universe is finally loving me. <laughs> this was the report of my first trimester. Oh, I'm so excited! I hope everything just keeps going well. I just want the baby to grow and become a beautiful, healthy human being. Obviously, I'm freaking out about parenthood, but ain't we all? Thank you very much for coming along with me, and I'll see you very soon on another video, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!